Well, right now, we need to move on to our custom air bar. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to go ahead and create a new component inside of our, our common folder. And we're going to call it custom air bar. And it has to be a dot file. So we have to create the the widget. So here it's supposed to be a stateless widget. And let's give it a name, custom air bar, like that. And we need to import material. After importing material, now we need to to work our widget. So here we need to return a container. That's the first thing that we need to do. So our container, we need to give it a width. And this width is going to be the width that we're going to get from our, our constants. After getting the width, we need to give it a little bit of padding. So here we're going to go ahead with symmetric. So we have a symmetric and we need to manipulate horizontal side and we need to give it a, a padding of 12. Since it's horizontal, let's go ahead and give it a W. And we need to get rid of this consts. If you're going to utilize screen utils in a line, then we don't need to put cons. And then we need to have vertical. So for our vertical, we need to give it a six like that. So we need to go ahead and give it a height. So we're going to give it a height of 110. So let's cut this. Let's put padding first. And then we're going to have we're going to have height. Let's just have height and we're going to give it a height of 110. Okay, so let's format this. After that, we need to give it a color. So for our color, we're going to go with K of white and we need to have a child. So our child is going to be another container. So inside of this container, we're going to require a child and our child is going to be a raw widget. Okay, so our row we need to utilize main axis alignment so for main axis alignment we need to give it space between and then we need to have our children so for our children we're going to have a circular avatar that's the first and right after that we are going to have a column we're going to have a column so column takes in children so our column is going to have main axis alignment and we need to use main axis alignment dot end and we also need cross axis alignment so our cross axis alignment is going to be dot start so it's going to be like that and we need to wrap this column inside of a padding widget so here we're going to utilize agencies dot only so we need bottom and we need to give it a padding of six so here it has to be dot h and we need to have left and we need to give it a padding of eight since it's on the horizontal axis we have to give it a w so in here in our column we're supposed to have two widgets like the one for like two text widgets the one for delivering to and the address okay so in here before we have our text widget let's go ahead and create a reusable text widget inside of our common okay so reusable text and it's going to be a dot file at the same time we need to create a style because we don't want to be styling our components of our widgets over and over again so here we need to create these two and then we can go ahead and put our our text inside of our our column so here made a typo it's supposed to be custom okay like that so we're going to start with the reusable text so for the reusable text we're going to use stateless widget and let's give it a name the name is supposed to be a reusable text and we need to import material after importing material in here we are going to require two two variables the first one is going to be a string which is the text that we're going to be consuming inside of our widget and we're just going to call it text and the next one is going to be a textile so textile we use textile to style our components to tech to style our our widget so forgive me there let's just 
alternating between React Native and Flutter. So I might use the wrong one. So here we need to return a text. Okay. So here our text is supposed to be text like that. And our style is supposed to be style. And we need to add a little bit more. So we need to have max lines. So we're going to have max lines of one. After max lines, we're going to require soft rep. For soft rep, we're going to set it to false and we need to align our text so we're going to require text align so here we're going to align our text to to the left okay so it's supposed to be text align dots left like that okay so we need to add this in our formal parameters so we are done with this widget the next thing that we need to do we need to go ahead and handle this style okay because we need to import it separately okay so here we come to our style to our app style so instead of our app style we're going to require a, a text style and we have to give it a name so the name has to be app style and it's going to take in a number of parameters so the first one is going to be a double so this double is going to be of name size after that we require a color so we are going to use color to manipulate the color of the text and we're going to also require font weight okay so for font weight we're going to use it to manipulate the the weight of the of the text so in here we're going to return google fonts we're going to be using google fonts it's supposed to be google fonts so we need to import google fonts first okay so let's check whether we have them installed first but probably they're installed so let's go to our pub spec yamo so in our pub spec yamo we do have google fonts here so we just need to import them so to import we have to do it manually import package google fonts okay so we've imported google fonts so here we're going to our google fonts is going to take in the font size which is the size that we're going to get from our app style and the color is going to be aligned to this color that we're taking from our app style as an argument and the font very the font weight is going to come from our argument this fw is going to be our font weight so we are done with these so now we can close these these two the reusable text and the f style we can also close our pub spec yaml and we can come to to our column so in our column the first widget that we're going to require is the reusable text widget okay so first we need a string so this string is going to be the text that's going to appear on top which is deliver to okay and we need to go ahead and import our app style okay so as for app style we need to to go ahead and have the size the color and the font weight so it's going to be a little bit different it's not going to be normal as others so let's go ahead and give it a 13 is the size and for the color we're going to use k secondary so okay secondary is an orange color and for the font weight we're going to go with w600 so if we save nothing will happen okay because we haven't hooked it to to our home pages yet next we're going to have an address okay so for our address we're not going to we're not going to be utilizing our reusable text widget, but we're going to utilize a, a text widget. So for a text widget, we're going to take in a, a string. So this string is going to be an address. So we can write anything random. Okay. Okay. Let me just take what's given. So in address, you can write anything. It's okay. And we need to add another bracket here to style the text this text we're going to be using our app styles that's why we created separately we didn't add it to our reusable text widget okay so here we need to change the the size from 13 to a smaller size which is 11 
and for the color we need to make it a little bit lighter so we're going to give it a gray light and for the font weight we're going to make it normal like that and we need to add some more parameters so here we need to add overflow if our address is bigger than the screen we need to use text overflow dot ellipsis just to cut it off a little bit okay so let's format our code after formatting our code we need to wrap this text widget inside of a size box we need to just set constraints to our text so here we're going to give it a width and we're going to give it a width of width multiplied by 0 0.65 0 0.65 okay like that now okay so we are done with our text. Now we are going to focus on our, our circular avatar. So in our circular avatar, we're going to require radius. So we're going to supposed to be radius here and we need to give it a radius of 25. After that, let's go ahead and give it a background color. So for starters, let's just go with K secondary and then we can go on to add an image okay so we're going to have a background image so here we want to consume a network image okay so we need to provide a url so for this one the url you can pick a url that you want to use we're not going to provide images especially for for things like this when we are developing the ui so i'm just going to go to to my images I do have a list of images that I use for profiles and stuff. I'm just going to pick one and go back to, to the project and I'm going to paste the URL in here and then just save. So in here, we need to add consts everywhere in the file. Okay, that's wrong. It's supposed to be add consts. Okay, so for this container, we need to add a margin. Okay, so our margin has to be agencies dot only, and we want to manipulate the top. So at the top, we need to give it a twenty, not a twelve, but a twenty. Okay, so that's it for that part. Next, we need to focus on whatever we are going to be displaying on the on this side, which is the the date not the date but the time whether it's evening afternoon or something like that so here the first thing that i'm just going to do i'm just going to put a, a text widget okay new texts and this one we need to give it a style in the style we're going to consume textile we just need to give it a font size and we need to give it a font size of 35 something like that so here we need to go to to our browser browser emojipedia okay so we can access emojipedia so here i'm going to look for for the sun my network is a little bit slow so forgive me for that we might need to be a little bit patient we can take anything for now since we are just designing and then when we create the function for for the date and time then we can have the actual emoji that we need to emojis that we need to put okay so let's go back to our project and let's just paste this and let's just add consts like that okay so that's going to be our customer bar so let's go ahead visit our home page in our home page we do have our preferred size already so we need to replace this container with the customer bar that we just created like that and we need to add const over here and let's bring the child down below okay seems like we do have an error okay we are not getting the image here so what we can do let's go ahead and just get rid of the image first okay let's see we go back to our container to our customer bar so this is not supposed to be in here to begin with it's supposed to be right outside of the 
the padding is going to be here yeah okay we still need to i still need to figure out the problem here because we don't have an image so the error should be gone 